Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys an unboxing video for you guys. This is a new pickup that I ended up getting. Uh, I got these and the uh, the gold foam posits as well. And pretty much anything I've tried to get, I've gotten off of the sneakers app. And this is just another one of those ones where I was successful on the sneakers app. Um, I don't know. The downside with being successful on the sneakers app is you can't use codes. As far as I know, if you guys know how to, leave a comment let me know. But... Um, they had a two day shipping code. I think it was elite or something like that. Um, uh, but because I did not get the opportunity on the sneakers app, these shipped regular speed. Uh, but so I'm excited that I got these nonetheless. So take a, a look at what we have here. Um, retail on these, let's see here. God, I, forget, I keep forgetting. They don't tell you the price on the receipts. I think it's just, it's like one of those, <laughs> it's like a, a Nike trick. You know, when you go to McDonald's, they don't have like the uh the calories in front of the menu i think it's the same thing like you get the receipt and you don't see it on it so you don't uh feel as bad anyway they do have the receipt right there though so 150 is uh the the uh the price tag on there and nike air max zero quick strike as you can see a uh, really dope box I, it's always exciting to get a box that you've never had before uh that's what that's what he says that's what she said uh uh that this is totally this is I uh, I need to get back to the video now. So it says Air Max Zero on the front and, and on the top. And uh, what I'm saying though is is it's it's a, always fun when you get a different style um, a box that you haven't had before. Uh, it says the one before the one. So uh, what that's referring to is uh, the one before the Air Max One, which was the very first pair of Air Maxes. I believe they came out in '87. You guys correct me if I am wrong, but these ones uh, were designed two years before the Air Max One, um, and uh, they so uh, maybe okay eighty seven I think was the Air Max One. These ones uh, were originally mocked up in eighty five, and so thirty years later, um, and this is me paraphrasing what I'm hearing. This is thirty years later. This ends up um, making its way to our hands, and we haven't even seen it before. Uh, so this is just really crazy. It actually says on the inside 0326. I'm not even really sure what that means. But you can see Tinker signed the inside, which I think is awesome. Um, and then here in this one it says 0, uh, AMAX 0. That's kind of rad that you get Tinker's signature on this one right here. That should raise a stock of these just by that alone. People people seem to be freaking out about these uh, once they drop. I was just glad I was able to cop pair uh, with no hassle on the sneakers app. I do think this is pretty awesome too. Check that out. They come with a little... Uh, the little air air unit thing on the uh it's, it's just a special keychain with tinker hatfield on one side and air max uh zero on the other side i really think it's dope that they're like promoting tinker to this level where they're throwing his name on the shoe and it's selling the shoe uh strictly because of the name i think and at least that's my my opinion of it these things are pretty crazy you can see the air unit's a little different as you can see the visible part on the bottom um which is not something that's normally there um, I will do a comparison between these and like the Air Max 1s if you guys want um, in another video and do like an on foot video of these ones uh, while, You know along with the comparison to the Air Max like 90 Air Max 1 um, I think I have a pair. I have the wheat Air Max 1 still in the collection. I'm not really sure what other Air Max 1s I have um, But yeah, I could do a, a, a video like that, but what do you guys think about these? Uh, kind of cool. I it's only one uh, colorway. I'm curious if, if they'll be successful and um as a result of the success, maybe they'll end up um, releasing more colorways. Who knows? Uh, it's kind of always funny how the success of something happens. It's not necessarily uh, planned. Sometimes it's just organic the, the way the way uh, something like this might be. And then they just might release more just because it's successful. Um, the other thing is, is if on the sneakers app, if you guys remember, I tweeted about it a long time ago. They had the Kyrie 1 prototypes. And there was actually an option where you could actually click the button and buy uh, the Kyrie one prototypes and it was kind of crazy, but it was a it was a glitch But how cool would it be to be able to buy a prototype like that? That's in, in essence what this is. It's like a prototype version of the Air Max one um, That's why it's called the Air Max zero It's the one before the the Air Max one and it's kind of like the prototype and they're they're like mocking up the prototype and now taking that prototype and making it come to fruition and actually having um, the prototype kind of prototype-esque model um for something it's just another story that's kind of cool and we all love our the stories that go along with sneakers and stuff like that so uh this one was definitely uh one of those ones I, it's it was easy to sell 
um, because it's such an iconic model, obviously, and uh, the Air, the Nike Air in general, it really helped make Nike. Um, anyway, that's long enough. Video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you do, give the video a thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you guys for some more videos later. Peace.